Hi, this is Alon of the Sidefinity SDK team. In this video I'm going to demonstrate the power of media content management using Sidefinity's desktop application, also known as Lightning. In order to get started, under the Administration menu, go to Modules and, and Services. Make sure your DAM module is installed and active. Then open the Sidefinity desktop application and make sure it's connected to your Sitefinity instance with the user other than the one logged in in your browser. Let's get started with Sitefinity's backend. Let's go back. As I mentioned, this demo is all about media management, so let's get started by going to Content and Images. As you see, I have already set up a few items here in advance. You can see the built-in default library and I have a structure of a nested hierarchical libraries the root under which I have two children and one grandchild library if I browse to my library child one you can see I've already uploaded a few images into it now let's see how things look on the other side I'll bring up Sitefinity's desktop application again since we're exploring image libraries now I'll click on images and we can browse through our libraries very intuitively and easily. We can switch between grid views and icon views up here. We have a search box for quickly searching through content items, which finds images and libraries for us. Navigating through libraries is also very intuitive and easy. We just double click a library and we can see its content. We can go up enter libraries as we please. Now let's upload a few images. For that we have two options. We can go into a library, let's go for example to the default library and click the upload images button. That's good. Let's go to my desktop and here in the media content folder I have a few images for uploading. Let's just take them and these items are already uploaded into Sitefinity. The other much easier option is to simply drag and drop files and folders into your desktop application. Let's go again to my hierarchical libraries and again to my desktop, to my media content folder, and I'm just going to take a whole folder and drop it. Now if I go into this album grandchild, I can see the folder that I've just dropped and inside it another nested folder which was nested in my original folder and all the images that I've uploaded are already here. We can see that also in Sitefinity's backend if I just go to all libraries and now we can see the default library has the images that we've just uploaded and if we explore the hierarchical libraries we can see the entire structure here is kept and the images are here. So that makes navigating and uploading images and other media content very easy and intuitive. Let's go back to the desktop application and see what other power tools are at our disposal. If we go to an image, right-clicking gives quite a few interesting options here. If I choose Edit, we get quite a powerful image editor. Of course we have access to the image properties and we can edit them, for example, changing the URL, tags or categories, or other descriptive properties. But we also have an image editor here, which allows us to modify the image itself with ease and supports quite a number of operations, as can be seen here. For example, rotating, flipping, making uh, color modifications, and so on and so forth. Once we're done with editing and changing image properties or the image itself, we can either publish it save it as draft, save it locally in the Sitefinity desktop application uh, for later pushing into Sitefinity or just closing and discarding our changes. One more feature which can be seen on all the media and content features of the Sitefinity desktop application is the sidebar which can be opened here for filtering some of the items. We can filter by categories and publication status just as we can do that right from Sitefinity. Other options which are revealed with right-clicking on an item, for example, we can save the item as, which allows us to save it right to our computer. 
We have the options to intuitively cut and copy items. This also works with keyboard shortcuts. For example, if I copy this image and then I hit Ctrl V in my keyboard, the image is being duplicated and it's already in the library as another image. We can also cut it and just paste it somewhere else. If we'd like to open an item in our local editor, just right click and click View Original. Then it would open it with our Windows associated application. Let's see some more power tools. This time we'll go to Documents. So under Content, Documents and Files, I have a demo library created and inside it I have two documents. One of them is a PDF file and the other is a Word document with docx extension. Using the Sitefinity backend user interface we have a few options here for editing properties of a document but we can't go further we can't go much further than that except of course changing the basic properties of the file. If we go to Sitefinity's desktop application on the other hand if I click documents and files we can of course explore the document libraries just as we did with images and we can see the documents which are uploaded to the demo library here but double clicking a document opens not just the options to edit and modify the document properties just as we did in Sitefinity's backend but also gives us a full-blown rich text editor even with editing tabs similar to Microsoft Word. One other power tool is the option to export the document to a PDF file by clicking this icon. Once we do that we're presented with more options for example printing the document and if we upload and publish we now have a PDF version of our document in the library which we can go back to Sitefinity's backend refresh and here it is as a PDF. Let's go back to Sitefinity's desktop application. If I double click a PDF document we get the same PDF viewer right inside Sitefinity's desktop application and here we can again not just preview and edit document properties but we can also use the integrated viewer to actually view its content. Let's edit the Word document again. Here. Now that I've edited the text, I'll just click Publish and the file is updated on the server. Now if I go back to Sitefinity's backend, if I go to my document and, cl and click Actions, Revision History, we can see that the document now has two different versions and it's been updated by the Lightning Admin, which is the active user in my Sitefinity desktop application. Let's go back. So now that we're looking at our document libraries, we can see the options to create a new library and add it here just as we did with images, or we can upload documents just as we did with images. But if I click Create New, I can see that I also ha have options to create a new document or a spreadsheet right from the UI here. When I click New Document, I get an option to just start editing its content. give it a title and of course update all the other fields as I would expect. I can also choose into which library it should be saved. This one will be the default. Once I click upload and publish the file is generated from scratch and if I go to the default library and click it now here is my document. One more feature we have at our disposal when editing and creating media items with the Sitefinity desktop application is when we're editing and creating new versions, we can specify notes for this version. For example, let's go back to my Hello document, which is now under Documents and Files in the default library. I'll, click, I'll double click it for editing and let's change it. Here on the sidebar I have version notes which I can open by clicking and add a note then republish it. Now if we go back again to Sitefinity's backend and I look at the actions and revision history of this document I can also see 
the notes that I've added for the editing of this document. So although I cannot see and edit the changes right inside Trinity's backend, I can add insightful notes about what I've just done with the document and they can be seen in the revision history. This works for all media items, also uh, for images and videos. Let's see two more of the power features related to media content which Citrinity Desktop Application gives me. I'll go back to the application and again to images. And again I'll double click an image for editing. Again I have the image editor with all the title. I can see the version notes here. If I scroll down I also have an option to replace the image with a different one. So all I have to do is click choose file choose a different file and publish the image is now updated with a different content one last thing I want to show is when I go to videos when I have a video or an audio file I can also preview it right in the application so when I double click a video I get again the editor and here on the sidebar are all the features and properties we've just explored and here in the center I have a preview option for the audio and the video file. If I, if I click play, it will play and you'll have to take my word that actually I have the sound playing right now. But the video preview is not visible at this moment since I'm doing this recording through a remote desktop connection and Windows Media Protocol fails to compress and show me the video remotely. But you'll have to take my word for it that this feature is here and you have a full audio and video preview present right from your Citrinity desktop application. So this was a demo of the power of media content management using Citrinity's desktop application. We saw how you can intuitively browse through, upload and manage your images, videos, documents, how you can generate new versions, replace your media content, preview it, and editing it using advanced editors.